Hey guys, hope everybody's doing fine. In spite of this pandemic, well, it won't stop us from playing RC. That's a, that's a fact. <laughs> so as you can see in the beginning of this uh, video, I showed two speedrun clips of this car. One is a good pass and one is basically a bad pass. And I wanted to share three things that I learned uh, on that day regarding um, RC speedrun. Alright guys, so before we, we go furthermore, I just first wanted to let you know that these are just based on my experience on my car, right? So yeah, first thing that I learned on that day was that um, aerodynamics doesn't really affect that much if your top speed is below 100 miles per hour. Because on that day guys, I did three 3S passes on this car and all are 95 miles per hour first and second pass was 95 miles per hour and third pass was 94 miles per hour and then on the fourth pass i decided to run on forest and it went 108 i mean quarter mile quarter of my run it went 108 and then it flew basically it went airborne i understand that there are some instances wherein uh, we are driving our car below 100 miles per hour yet still the car goes airborne that is a different scenario guys that could be something has to do with your uh, suspension you know the, the way you set up your car uh, could be the road maybe there's a bit of dump there bump like this so there are many issues there what I'm trying to say here is that if your driving environment is perfectly fine your road is straight or flat and your car is properly set up camber at, uh, ride height suspension everything is set up and you're running below 100 miles per hour your top speed is below 100 miles per hour your car will be will run smoothly so the second uh, point that i learned on that day is uh, regarding delta plastic body aerodynamic but first before i go into details let me just show you that this is a dm1 spec e a car and the rear the stock rear body post is located on this section and as you, as you may already know all delta plastic body rear side has this spoiler in here right this curb spoiler here to push the body or to push the rear end on the ground so on that day i just cut a little bit of uh, it in this side and on this side and then i left a little bit in here just for the body post to clip on it as soon as the car gain more speed and go beyond 100 miles per hour that slight difference on the car body on the body of the car on the aerodynamics exponentially increased so if you can see some drag racers or uh, those guys who are just doing on-road uh, on-road bashing even if they don't cut this section of their uh, body this uh, curved section here they don't really lift that the car doesn't really you know go airborne because they are of course they set up properly their their car still they're not driving that much uh, speed so as you go faster the the aerodynamics exponent exponentially increase and that caused the car to lift off all right guys so before i go with the third point i just wanted to thanks everybody who is still watching until this minute <laughs> it may it means that i'm still making sense or just making fun of me i don't mind you know i mean this uh, hobby is fun this let's make this community nice and uh, and uh, fun anyway let's go to the third point so the third point that i learned on that day guys is do not run your uh, car with a different setup on the same day what i mean what, I, what do i mean with that is all right this car i i tune it up on 3s parallel i put my two batteries here i put my fan battery here and then started to adjust the camber started to adjust the toe the suspension the right head everything now i decided to run on forest on the same day without adjusting those things so i just changed the battery and that messed up the run so what happened there is that this is my 3s pack and this is my 4s pack those one cell that one no that two cells uh difference because you're gonna be running uh, parallel those two cells difference in terms of weight affect exponentially affected the performance of the car uh let me show you this is the this is the tire all right so the tire um i set it up on 3s and it's fully flat on the on the road 
like this but then I decided to put a heavier um, battery so what happened is the perfect uh, alignment of my camber suddenly changed a bit like this let's say let's say like this just to give you an exaggerated uh, view let's say like this all right so as soon as the car started to run and gain some speed that small weight difference exponentially become bigger and bigger and bigger until your rear wheels already like this you know too much uh, camber negative camber and you you don't have any more traction so so everything is connected guys so as you can see as you go faster and faster uh, your car uh, aerodynamics is exponentially increasing so if you're gonna run let's say you set it up on 3s parallel right you can run 6s because it's the same battery so that is the third point guys which is i would say it's a rookie mistake um just additional point guys this is now based on this specific car that i think affected the performance on why the car went uh, airborne on that day is the car itself so you can see this is a dm1 spec e rc and the chassis itself has too many holes underneath it so as the car in, uh, increases its speed the aerodynamics exponentially increases the flow of the air underneath the chassis become more and more and more and these small holes on the body on the chassis affected uh, made some you know how do you call this vortex underneath the chassis i don't know uh, i don't want to go further more on that one you just check it out another factor is the body itself this is a delta 2mm plastic body and it is too soft on that day i was not running this side post and as you can see it was like this it was flipping like this it catches air and it went parachute like this and the car went airborne so if you don't have plan to put sugar on your body or fiberglass resin you can just put some tape here or you know side posts like here and you will be fine and of course the driving environment itself on that day it was there was a sandstorm you know it was too sandy because the weather's changing the road is full of dust there's a gust of winds but you know this is how we do it on speed running we drive too far and we just wanted to send it so anyway guys again all of these comments or all of these points are just based on my experience on my car so uh thank you for watching and see you in the next one